Tonight, the DMV is reacting to the violence that broke out in Charlottesville with vigils all across the region. DCW 50's Candace Cole is live in front of the White House with more on that. Candace. Tracy, people are, of course, angry and upset over what happened yesterday and are standing in solidarity with those protesters who were attacked in Charlottesville Saturday afternoon in what is being referred to as a form of terrorism. We checked in with a few of those demonstrations being held here in the metro area with people coming out to show their support. Columbia, over 400 people showed up to a Black Lives Matter protest in response to yesterday's attack against demonstrators outside a KKK rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm here because I wanted to, especially after the events of yesterday, I wanted to take the opportunity to present a loving, positive message out to the world. Um, when we say that Black Lives Matter, we're saying that we are human beings along with everyone else. And in Bethesda, people showed up to remember the three people who died in the chaos, including 32-year-old Heather Heyer and Virginia State Police Lieutenant H.J. Cullen and Trooper Pilot Burke M. M. Bates. Donna says her friend was one of the people hit by the car that mowed down several protesters in Charlottesville. She says she was overwhelmed by the turnout. It just shows that people do care, and I think the majority of us care. Whatever side of the political spectrum you're on, you should care, you know. If you don't, then you need to rethink about where you're living. In the district, demonstrators swarmed the White House for a candlelight vigil calling for an end to the hate and violence. The words of the president matter, and when he suggests that violence is okay or that doesn't denounce white supremacy or neo-Nazis or the KKK, it matters to people, and violence comes from a lack of standing up to that kind of hate. Now, at last check, 19 people had been reported injured. UVA Medical Center says that 10 people are still in the hospital in good condition and nine have been released. Reporting live in front of the White House, Candace Cole, DCW 50, News at 10.